Oh, there's a fish. There's the first one for the Arvo. Tiny little guy. Oh no. I was actually just about pepper it in here and then that guy came and ate it. Yeah guys, first tiny little duck, he's only a midget, so we'll get him back in, but yeah, first one for the afternoon. Boy. There's one. That's a good fish. Oh Jesus. That's a real good fish. Oh that's big. Oh, that's real big. That's, if that, is that a bass? If that's a bass, that's huge. That could be a carp. I think that's a carp. Oh, man. That was a carp for sure. <sighs> I thought that was the biggest bass I've ever seen in my life. It was a big calf. Comment down below, guys. Has any of you guys ever caught a carp on a jig before? There's a fish all over that. There he is. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. A couple of times now. Come back this way. Biggest of the day. It's not a bad one. There we go. Get in here, man. What a bad fish. I could feel him all over it. That was just like the best cast ever. I skipped backhand cast underneath that little log there and I was rolling it and I could feel him biting it and then he absolutely crunched it. So, biggest fish for the morning. He's not overly massive, but we're heading, whoa, we're heading in the right direction. There he is, he's not too bad, It'd probably be about 35, I reckon. There's that chick. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, that was a um, really, really cool buy that one. All right, I'll get this jig out of here. American style. Pop. Didn't work. There you go. Yeah, not a bad fish. Thanks, mate. Why? No, we we'll keep on, keep on keeping on. That guy was right up in there though. Like I said, I skip cast right up in there, roll it out. But I could feel him eating the back of it. And then he finally ate the whole thing. So he's eating a claw. Off me the lure that. Oh, we should be still fine to run that guy. Lead is all good. We'll keep on cruising. That was a good bite, that one. Oh, that's a good fish. Good fish. Oh, crush that. Oh, I hope that's not a carp. Turn the alpha podcast on. That's a catfish. <laughs> You're kidding. Catfish in a jig. I didn't think it was a bass. It was going too hard for a bass. That's gold. Carp on a jig, dropped it, and a catfish on a jig. That's a shame. Now, we'll just get off this bank here. Look how good this bank looks, guys. Amazing. Yeah, way too, way too hard for a, for a bass then. Right, yeah, if you guys listen to podcasts, jump on over. I'll chuck it on the screen. Out for podcasts. The boys are awesome. I've been listening to them for quite a while now. One of my mates recommended them and I've been listening to them ever since. Anyway, we'll just um, do the old flicky flicky of this guy. See you dude. There you go. So comment down below if anyone's caught a catfish on a jig before. That's definitely a first. Almost got that big carp up the river as well. So yeah, interesting. He smashed that, eh? But it was going to be a bass, it was going to be a bloody good one. Anyway, we're slowly getting through a few fish, not the ones we want, but anyway, that was interesting. All right, we'll keep on keeping on, but this bank looks absolutely amazing. Look at the structure, overhanging trees, heaps of shade, looking really good.
if I'm... Oh, it's a bass. That's not a bad fish. Right up in that shade. Yes. Yeah, he's under the chin a little bit, but... Oh no, he's in the mouth. That's not a bad fish. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be. Boat flip him in. Oh, he's not too bad though. Yes. Here we go. Getting a couple now. There he is, guys. Probably, yeah, maybe the biggest for the afternoon. Or for the day, I should say. Not a bad one. He's about 30, oops, 36 maybe, so in the water and we'll um yeah keep fishing this little bank here like i said before we just work up to this point here and um we're gonna, probably going to call that for the afternoon so it's just been a bit of a slug of an afternoon but we have put a decent session together nothing too big but it's always nice to catch a few fish adios Get out of there. Thought there was one in there before, hey. I thought I felt little nibs in there. Oh, he's probably the best fish for the afternoon. Yeah, he's a nice one. Beauty. There he is. Yeah, he's a good one. Pinned in the top of the mouth. Beautiful. Whew, there we go. There you are guys, probably the best of the afternoon. Nice one that one. It's pretty skinny. It's pushing on almost a 40, so we'll um, finish the rest of this bank off and we'll call that a session anyway. Um, but yeah, it's been pretty good. I think we're up to about seven bass now. Seven, eight bass, two uh, catfish, and uh, we dropped that massive cup earlier too. So yeah, it's been a pretty good afternoon actually. Um, has been, we've had to work for them. It has been a bit slow, but um, yeah, the quality of fish Hasn't been amazing, but it's good fun. First uh, jig session for the season for me. So yeah, it's good to uh, get those skills back up and um, on the board. So um, yeah, nice bassy though. Get this guy back in and um, yeah, that might possibly be the last fish. So we'll see how we go. Um, but if you did, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. I'll um, have a few more flicks and yeah, I'm gonna call it call it a session um i didn't pack enough water i've drank about two liters and yeah it wasn't even enough it's been so hot out here there's a few houses up here on the bank i actually was tempted to run up there with my water bottle and ask for some water but yeah i've got a little bit left and we'll just call it a session but yeah probably the biggest of the session nice fishy we're getting back in the drink and um yeah catch you guys in the next one Yo. All right, guys, I'm just going to quickly show you how I like to fish my jigs. I tried to do this earlier, but I actually snagged up the other jig and lost it. So we'll, uh, we'll edit that one out. So this is a pretty basic bank. Um, so, yeah, basically what you're looking for is a lot of shade on the water, a nice bit of depth to it. And what I like to do, there's two different ways that I like to fish my jigs. Obviously, you cast in as close to the bank as possible. Sometimes if it's a bank like that, it actually doesn't matter if it hits the bank and you roll it into the water because it's not creating a big splash. So some days that's a good thing. But generally what I like to do is cast as close to the bank as possible because that's where the yabbies and the prawns are going to be living. Anything like if there's a lot of structure coming out, obviously that's better. Um, and then I like to let it sink to the bottom and just give it a couple of little tiny little pops off the bottom. Wind that slack up so you don't have that belly in the line. You just give it a couple of seconds and you do it again. So you can do it that way. There's another way you can just do one slow lift and wind down to keep that slack out of your line. But today, um, what they've been actually liking, I'll just make another car so I can run it through you again. So nice, nice and close to the bank. That's actually on the bank, so I'll just pull that off into the water. Let it sink. What I've been noticing today and a lot of other times as well is I'll mix it up. So these guys are liking a bit of a, a bit of a roll then stop and a bit of a roll and a couple of pops if you want and just let it drop. So you want to fish the jig pretty slow. Um, obviously this is a big river system so if it was a smaller river system I'll be fishing a bit slower um, but they're usually pretty aggressive in this river system and it is a lot of water to cover so um, I'll probably fish this jig a little bit faster in 
this system than I do in other smaller systems. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So I just cast in and I just like, yeah, a couple of pops. So you can just do kind of a slow kind of a pop and let it sit there. But the name of the game is to really be in touch with your fishing gear, really keep an eye on your line. If you see your line taken off, all you need is pick up the slack line and set the hook really hard. Um, and if you obviously feel um, feel the fish biting on it, you can hopefully strike into the fish as well. So um, but yeah, hopefully this video has shown you guys a little bit of a few pointers and how to fish jigs. I'm no expert. I've only been fishing jigs for about oh, the last year or so. Um, it is a fun way of fishing. It is a bit slow and it can be quite tedious, but when the sun is high in the sky, um, they're a fantastic little bait to really get up under those snags and into those real tight zones. And a lot of the time, the fish will hit it straight away because it's more of a reaction bite than actually chasing it down to eat it. Um, it depends on the day, like every day is different. Some days, like I said, they like a roll out. Sometimes they, you can throw it in and actually burn it out quite quickly and they'll come and eat it as well. So just depends on the day but as soon as you get one just remember remember what structure what kind of bank it was on and also what the retrieval was and just yeah just copy that pattern and that's how i basically use the jigs or even any kind of bass lures if i catch a fish i'll remember how what kind of retrieve it was what kind of lure it was what kind of structure i caught it on and try and repeat that pattern that's what fish is fishing is all about is trying to figure out a pattern and trying to maximize that pattern to catch more fish so um today i've got two combos with me but majority of the day i was using this guy today so it's a shimano Corrado dc i've got 20 pound dialer j braid on that it's a 150 hg which means high gearing um, this has got a very fast gear ratio which is very important for jig fishing obviously because you're casting right deep into the structure if a fish hits that straight away say that was a nice big lay down or you got to pick up that slack and really power down on that fish um, and that's where the high gear ratio reel really plays on its own because you really want to rip those fish out of the snags because in a split second they'll be right under there and you won't have a chance in hell so you do have to fish bigger gear so like i said i've got 20 pound leader on this bad boy uh, today i've been using 16 pounds fc rock leader uh, so i find about a 16 pounds pretty good anywhere from 14 to 16 some of the boys use 20 i think it's probably a bit a little bit heavy um, obviously the little fish light gets the bite so I like to fish as light as I can with jigs um, and that's just on my edge black widow seven foot rod so you want a nice long rod so you can do nice long casts and obviously have a little bit of power up top there with the the rod and it is a four to seven kilo stick um, so yeah you want to quite basically you want to fish it with jack gear pretty much I use that a lot for my jack fishing so um, you know 20 pounds does sound a lot for bass but when you're fishing jigs in deep structure like this, um, yeah, you're really better off having that extra power because I mean, like you saw today, I hooked a big carp. That could have been a monster bass. It could have, um, yeah, sometimes you do need that extra power. So hopefully this video has shown you guys a little bit of jig fishing. Like I said, I'm no expert, expert but um, basically I just like to fish quarter ounce, three eighth ounce jig heads, um, jig, sorry. And I just match the trailer little yabby presentation kind of a duck um, jig I'll try and match the same color uh, trailer to it um, I ran out of the blue purple one so I chucked on a green one and still got a couple of fish out of it so I like to fish the darker jigs um, dark blues dark purples and black I don't really go too crazy with my jigs I just like yeah the darker colors seem to do pretty well for me so uh, but yeah hopefully this video has shown you guys a little bit about jig fishing um, it is good fun it is yeah like i said slow and finesse way of fishing but when you do get a few it is actually quite fun um it is a very good bait to be using when it's a hot day and that water temps in that 25 26 degrees that's um seems to be when the bass like to eat the craws and go after that type of bait so um that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed the episode like share subscribe all that good stuff chuck in some comments below i want to know if any of you guys have ever caught a carp on a jig or a catfish on a jig that was definitely a first for me i wish we got that that uh carp in because that was like i don't know that, that had to be at least a 70 centimeter fish um it was actually quite a large fish and i would obviously would have liked to um dispatch of it out of the system but unfortunately there's heaps of carp in this river but um yeah anyway guys that's enough talking hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys on the next one let's go oh. Oh.
I'll tell you what, I've got one sip of drink left and I'm very, very keen to drop into the pub for a quick couple of sco schooners before I go home. So cheers to you guys. Thanks for watching.